on this episode we do some TIG welding and some fabrication which is in our namesake put a C4 Corvette radiator recessed into the return to favor S10 enjoy Maybe. <laughs> Maybe I might do that. Now, do you think that's going to work at that length? Is that what you're thinking, or are you thinking for the high pressure? Yeah. I prefer not to mess with the length of the high pressure side if we can help it. Oh, you're thinking of going like right over? There you go, like, like that. that, like such. There it is. So I'm going to have to pull that line back off, I'm sure, but we're going to have to uh, cut the end off of that for that one fitting. What do you mean? For that one fitting that clamps on for the return. Can't It, it won't go over top of that. So what do we have to do? We have to get a line cutter and cut that off. Are you cutting that barbed end mm. off? Yep. Now what is that? It just kind of deburs the end of it. What is it? Oh, deburring tool. Okay, copy. That's how oh, that's supposed oh. to go. Okay. This, it's too it's small. I gotta go up one size. But it'll fit on that, so. Okay. So you have for that end. Yeah. Well, for the fuel. The petrol. The petrol. Okay, now we just need oh, to <coughs> Now you just need some ranches. What kind of line are you using? PTFE? Yes. Braided. PTFE. Yep. I'm going to get a socket on that. Alright, so. It's Evil Energy from Amazon, mm -hmm. PTFE, rated. What size line? Dash six for this. For the fuel line? Yep. And this is the same exact stuff I used on the square body when we did the gas tank. And it works really good. And that's it. It's on there. It's on there. Nice. All right. There it is. Stock fuel line to 6 a.m. Yep. And what is that for? That's those compression fittings that you need that for go this. to an. No. Well, yeah, I, we do need one for that, and we'll need one of these too. But for the fuel line one, they always have female ends on them. I, I'm not sure why they don't come with a male end, but you know maybe so they swivel. I don't I don't know. But you need a male to male adapter. So this is a six an male to male. I don't like male to male. Not in. I, I probably cut that out. Tape them. And that's in. Good to go. It's good. It's, it's in there. Very nice. Fitting. What do you think? Leave the 45, bring it out around the steering box to the course port? Sure. Nah, come on, bring it out. Bring it on out. What do you think? I'm thinking bring it out. So you're already making that end. Uh-huh. I don't even know he was up to it yet. Okay. Grab 
the other end. Now the only thing left, we need a little touch of oil on that just in case. It helps the threads. Mm. Oh, I guess we'll do it the normal way. Okay. Uh, all it is, it, there's a like aluminum insert that you pound the plastic tube inside PTFE line has to go in the aluminum insert and then the outside has to split around the steel braid or nylon braid if that's what you have. Damn it! And if you can find the right size wrench, it makes things a lot easier. That's it. And you put a little oil on it. Yes, for the threads, so they don't bind. Core support? Uh-huh. All right, let's do core support. You want to hold that? Back a little. There you Well, 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 fuel line's done. You want to hit that with a grinder just real quick? What? Which part? Like this? Marker? Mm-hmm. Radiator modification. Number 67. All right, what are you doing, Mike? What is it for? Grinding the tungsten. And why do you do that? Because you need a specific point or angle to a point for the uh, welder to work more efficiently. Good penetration. It directs the arc with the tungsten. Close.
that pneumatic rib must hold 158 bucks on the end. That, that still works, that's nice. <laughs> Very sturdy, rubber mounted. It's in there, that's what we want. It is uh, custom fabricated C4, I believe, Corvette radiator in an S10 recess. Fits in there very nice. Put the fans here so they're pulling. Proper. Very nice. There. You put them on a wrong uh, I'm just joking. Maybe they are the wrong side. I don't know. How the hell would I know? <laughs> there it is. Got the radiator in. Got the fans in. Uh, still waiting on a, a fitting or two for the power steering. But uh, it's coming along. It's just... Uh, the final fitment and trying to get the radiator and, and the radiator's core support. That's kind of a struggle just to make it right, to make it recessed and look proper. But there it is. Come along. In appreciation of all the support. Uh, here's a burnout from my camera. I do thank all the people that watch, subscribe, and like our videos.